Well, howdy, folks. Uh, it's Christian from Seven Gaming Network, and um, I'm going to do like a live deck build here. So, uh, I I've been looking through some of these cards and thinking what I'd really like to do is build another mono blue deck. The Vader Royal Guard deck was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, um, and one of the things, one of the characters that I've uh, really liked from the start as well is Asajj and um, one of the things that I really like about Asajj is she she kind of offers a different um, control way of playing with this discarding a card from the hand to reroll dice um, and knowing how many decks there are at the moment that uh, also want to do that to maximize their dice rolls so I'm thinking decks like Vader Raider um, very happy to do lots of discarding to re-roll to get the best out of Vader. Um, there's also um, the uh, emo twins, emo kids, emo boys, whatever you want to call it, um, which is also happy to discard lots of cards to try and maximise its damage. Uh, and and so for me, it feels like there's space here for um, an Asajj build now. I feel like there's two ways that you can go with the Sarge, maybe even three. Um, but I think one of the main ways is you can do a, a discardy, controlly type deck. So, for instance, I've done an Asajj Vent, uh, Asajj um, uh, Jabber deck, which worked quite well. There's lots of discards, and and it was good fun. It was a good control deck. Um, and and then I also think there's more of a controlly damagey type deck. Um, so we've also seen uh, Asajj Dooku is actually really quite cool. I do quite like that deck a lot. Uh, lots of focus going on, you can sort of be more consistent by getting big side to damage off. But one of the difficulties with a deck like that is it doesn't have much health uh, and it's very reliant on its resources to get your upgrades to do your control. Um, and so with uh, with that in mind, I thought, well, let's have a go with making something with Royal Guard. Now, why mono blue when we could include yellow? Like, it'd be very easy, and, and I may well do another build of one with a Tuscan Raider. And then the Tuscan Raider uh, will then obviously give us almost an inherent fast hands and extra damage. And it gives us access to yellow, which if you're looking to do discardy type stuff, gives us access to Vibro Knucklers, which is a really good card. Um, however... One of the things that I, I want to experiment with is No Mercy is a very powerful card at the moment. It feels consistently strong. Um, and also with a three character uh, deck list, um, a team, I feel like you can potentially get out quite a lot of upgrades. And that makes cards like Power of the Force really strong. I also think Guardian is really powerful at the moment for drawing off these big dice like uh, Palpatines and Poe's so having two Guardian characters I think is really good uh, and of course Guardians with Asajj are really good because they're going to focus on Asajj, she's only got 9 health uh, and those Royal Guards are going to really smooth it out so that's why we're going a mono blue build so what I've done here is I've got um, I've got all the cards out that are available to us from Awakenings and then we've got Spirit of Rebellion cards there as well and I'm just going to go here now and just go go through it um, uh, and pick out all the cards I think might fit into this kind of uh, strategy. Now what is our strategy? Well our strategy is to make the most of Asajj's ability because what I definitely want to do is make sure that they feel like they're probably only going to get one re-roll around, maybe two if it's their last card and of course we can't use Asajj's ability then. Uh, I want to absolutely maximise that and what I also want to do is get lots of blanks on the board. There seems to be this feeling that, that the whole idea of using the blue Sith to blank stuff out is building in... It, it, people are tr really trying to make it happen. And I'd like to see it happen. I'd like to see if we can make that work. Um, so those are the kind of cards that we're going to look at including. So I'm just going to go right through all these ones that are available to us and see if uh, they're going to be useful. Take cover. No, we've got shields on. Uh, our, no, we are playing a three character list. So we may well want to use flank. We like that. Close quarters assault. Ooh, yes. Discard. Loads of discard. 
and of course we can put out quite a lot of melee sides uh, here so that's really potentially strong with um, with the Sarge Ventress a block mm, too much all in there is gonna be some focus so we'll stick it in and I'm still consistently um, amazed how good all in can be and how much of a finisher it can be it binds all things we'll put it in because it might be useful uh, use the force yep that's absolutely a potentially strong card for us to use power of the force definitely thinking of using that because we've got three characters we could have in magical Christmas land nine uh, um, nine um, upgrades out so disturbance of the force no I've put mind trick straight in because we definitely want to consider that deflect we definitely want to be considering that now here we go notice one Turn each of your dice showing a blank to any side. Nope, not first. Hidden in shadows. There are some things that I like about hidden in shadows in some ways in this deck, but with the amount of shields that we can generate through the Royal Guards, if they don't roll the damage, the amount of Guardian we can have, is it blue ability? That's a blue ability, we can't play that on Royal Guard, so that's absolutely just killed it straight away. Power of the Dark Side, no. Empress Favour, you're not really super excited about that. Top and bottom. Pulling the strings, mmm. I'm just wondering, there's a few people have talked about playing with pulling the strings and that it was an absolute a brilliant card. It's one of those ones that I think in the Awakens meta we just poo pooed. But oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's something to be played. Uh, maybe there's something to be used for it. Okay, I'm sticking No Mercy straight in. I'm sticking Isolation straight in. Intimidate. I'm gonna put it in. I'll consider it later. Full strike. Mm. Now we haven't got any pay for on these sides, so it is going to be pay one dam. It is only going to be pay one to get two damage. We'll chuck it in anyway. You know, some of these would uh, feel your anger. It's going to go in. Oh, in red la. I'm putting a lot of cards in here. We'll, we'll we'll have a second pass. Enrage. Yeah, we'll include it to consider it, but I don't know if it's if it's really going to do the business. Draw cards up to your hand size. It does, that feels like that sort of Vader type trick. Cards up to your hand size. I don't want to do lots of re rolls, really, only really slow anyway. Mm. I'm going to leave it out for now. Abandon all hope. All the resources, or discard all cards. Oh, it's just a lot of resources. I think I want more control through through upgrades, I think. Um, data pad's an interesting one. One of the things that I think this deck could struggle for is resources, because of course. Royal Guard doesn't have any resources. That is a big drawback to Royal Guard. And we've only got the one Asajj Ventress day. So that's where I think this deck is going to be hurting. It's going to be forgetting some resources. So I feel like having um, data pads around might be very helpful. Uh, do you know what? Comlink might not be a terrible shout just for that. But what we do want to control of course is the number of non blue cards in the deck uh, okay we have now this would be interesting do we use Sith Holocron? I feel like we, we need to um, now we definitely need to have lightsabers in the deck because these two boys are going to be dying if it's going well <laughs> that's kind of the aim or oh, immobilize is such a strong card to be including um, I feel like because we're playing Holocron we should chuck Force Throw in there, Force Choke Prob Force Choke felt very strong in Awakenings, but now it's not so strong. But it is going to do this upgrade dice to any. It's going to it's going to turn one of their dice to any side, and so therefore I feel like that's something that's going to fit in with what we're trying to do with the Sarge. Guys, a lot of these cards are going to come out. I know that. Kylo Ren's lightsaber. That might just be for sticking into a little bit of extra damage to finish a, a game out. Um, that could be that could be really strong. You know what? I'm going to stick Comlink in just anyway. Right then, so cards from Spirit of Rebellion. Now then, uh, we'll look at the battlefield afterwards, but it's probably going to be a slow one, so we're not going to look for anything really exciting. I don't think um, anger that has to go in, so we'll put that there. 
Uh, lightsaber throw is definitely a consideration. Manipulate, that's got to go in really. Notice integrations, no. We're never going to get a rise again off. I mean, it would be amazing, but I just don't think we're going to have enough, enough resources. The price of failure, no, we haven't really got a big, strong enough, big character. A dark presence would be really cool with um, Asajj, but you need to be playing it with some yellow discard, because we haven't really got any discard sides on our dice hardly at all. Now we're in the master, that needs to go in, because of course we've got to consider that we're going to turn stuff to blanks, so that's cool. Um, doubt, yeah, that needs to go in, just as, again, it's definitely a card for us to consider. And then we're into some yellow, 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 blue, hero only. Confidence uh, is hero only. Let's keep going, and we're coming down to, here we go. Um, do you trust your instincts? Trust your instincts. And draw a card. Again, that feels like it's better just on a big character. But it's zero. That's very strong. Force Illusion. There we go. We're going to obviously have two of those in, I think. And Meditate. Is that... What is... Just double check that. That is... Exhaust support and remove one of your dice showing a blank. To one of your dice to decide not showing damage. Yeah, we haven't really got any specials. Nothing we really want to take advantage of so that's not really going to be I don't think brilliant for us do you want to stick rejuvenating you may say that's ridiculous but I don't know just keeping alive Asajj for another potentially another round or something it can be so big swiftness no not interested in that let's have a look at some of these new orders not really interested your basic um, parry and uh, def evade I uh, I don't really rate those cards, they're just slightly too specific. Force Lightning isn't going to fit with our deck. Okay, let's have a look here, anyone answer it? Anyone? Here we go. Uh, where are your Vibra Knives? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Vibra Knives are going in, don't you worry. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll see it. Okay, for speed, clearly we're going to consider that. What else is on the list here? Lure of Power, well, we'll consider it. Ah, oh, Lightsaber Pike, definitely consideration. Ooh, Interrogation Droid. Yeah, I think we're going to consider that when we're playing Asajj. Definitely something to have a look at. Uh, what have we got? And then we're coming down to, uh, there's our Vibro Knives. Um, Akashi, we're definitely going to consider that one. And I think that's all of them. Yes. Okay, wow, look at that for a great big pool of cards then. That is a lot to crunch. This is going to be crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. So, when you get to this stage now, this is where I say you, you need to be very clear about what cards are really working towards your strategy. Now, how we're going to win this is by dealing damage and by making them be uh, and by making the most of Asajj's da uh, of Asajj's ability to sort of minimize the incoming damage and also of course using our um, a guardian characters to keep her alive for as long as we can so I think if the game in a sense how I want this deck to work uh, if it went perfectly would be to get some nice big upgrades on Asajj Keep using those guardians, uh, the the royal guards, to keep her alive, and then have um, events that I'm playing out to discard cards from their hand and to uh, turn their dice to blanks. But like that seems to be how it how I need to be doing it. So I need things that uh, allow Asajj to put damage out. We need things that turn dice to blanks, and we need things that discard cards from their hand. I feel like those are the those are the big main things. Yeah. So, cards that build into that, dish out damage, discard cards from the hand, or uh, turn things to blanks. 
that, that those are the main things we're looking for and of course we need removal as well so we'll just go through the cards and see what those are play only if you have two more dice shown blanks resolve and opponent's die shown damage as if it was your die mm. well in comparison in combination with manipulate to the opponent's die to a side shown a blank yeah i think let's let's try play i'd love to, I've seen people play the anger manipulate thing and it seems to work quite well and they get it right. So we'll chuck those in. What have we got here? Blue's character to the die to any side. We're using me to spot blue characters. Turn the die to any side. It's a bit slow. But I do like it with four speed. And we're definitely considering four speed as a zero upgrade. Uh, that seems... Do you know we'll chuck it in at this stage. Uh, right, flank, well that's removal and we've got three characters, that's uh, definitely going in. Close quarter assault, definitely going in because clearly that works towards our main thing. Um, all in, dealing damage, can deal very quickly, We're quite slow with... Uh, no, let's put power of the force in because that's clearly going to help us with doing just about everything um, with our blue upgrades in play. Mind trick... Uh, this is one group with all the dice in it. For two, it is quite expensive. I'm a bit unsure about it. Um, deflect, I think, is really great in the meta at the moment. Pull in the string, such a card, and I'll bottom of the deck in any order. Oh, this is such a difficult card to evaluate in this kind of build. Such a difficult card to evaluate. And I feel like there's probably a lot of other things that are really going to vie for attention in this deck over and above something really nice like pulling the strings. So. I'm going to say no for now. No Mercy, I think, is going to be big. So and it's mono blue, uh, and we've got quite a lot of black damage sides, so that's going in. Isolation has to be considered. It's still one of the best removal cards in the game. Oh, Intimidate. It's pure damage out of hand. And there is quite a lot of shields about. And it's zero cost. And I don't think we're going to have a lot of... I don't think we're going to have a lot of money. I feel like Intimidate probably needs to still go in as consideration, further consideration. Force Strike, melee damage, then you may resolve it. It costs one. Doesn't feel great, does it? Not in this. For two? Uh, I mean, yes, we have got some plus sides, a few plus sides. I think if it was Resolve, because a lot of our damage isn't going to come from these character dice. We're... we're, we're we're going to hope to get some big upgrades on, on these characters. Uh, it's not like we're playing with Vader or a, a big single hitting character. So I don't like Force Strike. Fear Your Anger is amazing removal, so we'll consider that. Enrage. Deal one damage. Now, I think because we've got the Royal Guards around and we're going to be playing with a bit of shielding, like those Royal Guard dice, I'm happy to take shields off those every time. I feel like getting that extra... Having that extra speed of getting another resource could be really helpful in this deck. So I am going to consider it for now, for further. Uh, doubt is very good removal, so we need to consider that too. Rejuvenate's probably pushing it a bit hard. I think if we play a couple of games and we're finding like they're just not staying alive, then Rejuvenate is something that we will come back to. So go through the events. These are the cards that uh, I think that's least likely... Probably the Force Strike, the Mind Trip might go in, yeah. The Rejuvenate might go in and the All-In might definitely go in. So I'm just making a pile of the cards that I may well come back to in this build. Oh, didn't include Lightsaber Throw. Um, it's damage out of hand, but it's going to be quite expensive for us. And I feel like... You know, if I was trying to go a big damage deck, a Vader Raider style thing, then maybe I'd have that in higher up the list, but I don't think so for the moment. So let's have a consider of these of our um, uh, upgrades. Okay, here we go then. So these upgrades then. Well, look, I, I still think Sith Holocron is stupid good. It's brilliant. We're going to want to play some uh, upgrades, abilities onto Asajj because we want her to be around for a long time and that's what those two Royal Guards, I'm hoping, will allow us to do. So we should be able to get some nice big chunky upgrades on the side so that come the end game she's really doing the business and we've really maximized getting the ability out of 
get, um, get the most out of her ability. The other thing is that we're also playing Power of the Force, uh, and I just love zero uh, uh, cost upgrades. I mean, I still struggle that there aren't. I can't think of many builds still that you're just not going to take Sith Holocron. It's too good. Um, especially if you're playing yellow and you've got he doesn't like you available, you've got to. Right. So, uh, it also has a plus one resource side on that. The focus is really good. Okay, we're not playing the all in in this build at the moment, but that could come in. Um, the data pad, I, th I do feel like we're going to need it just because we need some resources early and I think this is going to be a difficulty with this deck so I'm going to stick that in and because of that as well I'm actually going to straight away put it binds all things in yeah just because it's got to it's got to go in there now then mind probe so yes yeah, super expensive but of course it's such a powerful card. Yeah, I mean, we're going to put it in because we've got Sith Holocron in. I mean, literally, we put Sith Holocron in, we put Mind Probe in. The other thing is it does have the two discard side on it. Um, it's got the damage sides, the three damage sides on it. Um, the only one I'm probably not that fussed about is to disrupt. That might not really be all that necessary. It's, it's not a necessary part of our strategy. However, that's four great sides. Um, lightsaber I feel like has to be considered um, because lightsaber on these royal guards is going to be really cool that extra damage is going to be scary it's also got another shield on it so that's not terrible and it's got a resource which means that those guys can roll the resource so it's a really good card to go on those guys immobilize is going to be brilliant in this because we're trying to get to those blanks force throw now this is going to have three naf sides on for us that's that's my problem here yeah we've got um uh, no mercy and no mercy off the one can be really helpful but that's pretty niche that we're going to put it in for that however it's such strong control we'll put it in as consideration oh my goodness all these upgrades are going in at the moment this is bad news right well look i think Looking at these here, I mean, how many cards we have? We've got 20 cards in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think Force Illusion to keep Asajj alive. It might end up being overkill, but I just don't think so. Um, yes, there's lots of unblockable damage around at the moment, but being able to just discard that when the thermal detonator hits you or something, I think is going to be really helpful. Um, having those on those royal guards and sucking the damage up and putting it into the illusions it's really good because the other thing I oh, oh it is an ability yeah of course it's not blue specific that is frustrating that does reduce its usefulness in this quite a bit hmm <laughs> we've got to keep Asajj alive I feel like it sh I feel like it should go in every boot I'm going to put it in because it's such a strong card right now then so Force Choke is playing into our strategy directly as is now in the Master I'm definitely going to Force Speed in it's zero and it's amazing uh, Vibranite is definitely going in we're going to consider that so is this turn to blank let's remove Remove when you will die show melee damage, we're going to have a lot of that. Oh, that feels like good control, and it's two, and it's loads of extra damage. It's a double whammy for us. It is such a great card. Good night, sister, be a viable option of Asajj. Just taking the one damage to real opponent, die on a struggle to... It, it, it is an option. I mean, I mean, you could consider something like Asajj, and you know, maybe going with a night sister and one royal guard, or even two night sisters. Um, Uh, two Night Sisters is mind of the rate that's sixteen. I couldn't do Elite uh, Sarge with it, um, but I'm not super excited about that build, largely because the Night Sisters are well, they're only seven health, so they're quite a lot squishier than Royal Guard, um, and of course, it's not quite so. St I mean, the re-rolling ability is good, but I just find Night Sisters are so squishy. I mean, how many decks can you think of that can put out seven damage comfortably now? Um, and without that guardian ability, no, oh, I just think she'd die too quickly. Um, so I'm going to say no to that for now. But 
I'm not dismissing it out of hand. So then we're left with these five cards here. And I feel like the interrogation droid is all that discard, which is very cool, isn't it? But it's not helping our No Mercy play. We've got one support in it. Shit, has it got a resource on it? That's got a resource on it. We'll stick it in. I think it's a consideration when you, you, you're just trying to get them to discard cards. It's really great. So let's have a zoom in on these in. Now, the reason I actually put Comlink in is more to do with the fact that, uh, well, yes, it's got the reroll on, which is fine, because you could reroll them into blanks. But it's it's got focus on, which is really good, although we haven't put all in in. It's got shield on, which we love, and it's got two resource sides, which in this deck could be really helpful. Um, and, of course, at two it also ramps us up into some some of the bigger three cost cards that we've got as well um, I mean Kylo Ren's lightsaber in this deck is going to be horrifically brilliant but by the same token lightsaber pike I mean we've got quite a bit of focus, we've got Sith holocrons we've got force speed and we've got uh, Asajj's focus the lightsaber pike suddenly becomes really quite interesting, especially when it's also got the shield on and a resource, which we're struggling for. And that's what Kylo Ren's lightsaber doesn't have. It's also got a pay for on that on Kylo's lightsaber for its black damage, whereas the lightsaber pike doesn't. But then we've got a good chance of rolling our black damage anyway. So the difficulty then becomes... Oh, this is really interesting. These all feel like they could could fit very nicely in our deck. And there is quite a bit of focus in our deck, which is why I do like the lightsaber pike. And I love those other two sides on it as well for our deck, the, the non-damage sides. Lure of power feels really strong. One of the things that's quite good about that is the lure of power for us to play that onto our because we can it's not an ability we can play that onto our royal guard and to be able to turn him into a two damage um, a three damage or a plus three damage is very exciting uh, oh my goodness he could be a plus four lure of power on him becomes really good and the other thing I really like is that lure of power on the shield side he's got two one shield side um, that makes him a two shields, a two shields, or a three shields. That's really cool. And it's got a resource. Oh, do you know what? Lure of power. And then lure of power on Asajj makes her, well, kind of unnecessarily better, really. I, I really like lure of power on those guardians, on those royal guards. Do you know what? This could, That could be really wrong, but because it's an upgrade, we can play on him. Yeah, look at that. He becomes a 2 damage, a 3 damage, or a plus 3 damage. And he could be a 3 damage, a 4 damage, or a plus 4. Oh, it's got to go in. It's got to go in for just some fun. I really want to see how that works. Um, so then we're left with these. Do you know what? I feel like the lightsaber's so good. But let's chuck in the lightsaber pike for now. And then these two are going to go over here as like strong contenders, really strong contenders. So we've got eight cards that we're, you know, they're almost like our sideboard. The first cards we're going to go and have a look at. Then we're going to take the pike. We've seen Kylo's others. I'd go one lower, one pike. Yeah, okay. So we, yeah, anyway, that's what that's what we went with. Okay, <laughs> so we've got twenty nine cards there, which you're going to have to have uh, have a go at sorting out now. Then. I'll put these out over to one side. So how I um, arrange the cards, I kind of how you saw there really, is I put damage upgrades across the top, utility upgrades across the bottom, defensive upgrades go across, so offensive, defensive, and uh, our um, utility. Then when it comes to these, I go um, maybe counterintuitively, uh, more utility type events go in there. 
removal I just put down the bottom corner here because we know we're going to need quite a bit of that we always want good removal uh, there we go deflect is removal and then my supports go out to the side here um, oh, Makashi is probably more about dealing damage I think well the other thing I do love about Makashi is the shield and the resource side on there very happy to see that um, this I'm going to put here because most of the time I feel like we're uh, most of the time we're going to use it for I think a big spike of damage yes so it should go up there which is your offensive type um, uh, events but also we can also be use it for taking loads of resources we can use it for taking loads of shields that's, um, that's strong that one okay so that goes up there because it's damage that goes there anger is essentially damage isn't it because yes it's also it is removal but my goodness, it's going to be pretty cool and strong if we get those off against some big dice. Removal down the corner, removal, lots of removal. Oh, a lot of power. I'm excited about sticking that on uh, on those. Well, got that's just a marvelous card. I put that there because essentially it's offensive in its in its nature. Um, because uh, often I, the events I put up there are those that advance the strategy very specifically. Um, yeah, I'm really not feeling that in this deck or the Intimidate ok here we go so as you can see we're starting to refine this deck now we're starting to bring it down we've got uh, yeah. so let's see we've got four uh, now the next thing I'm going to do once I've got to this stage um, is decide on the cards that I feel like why well, we have to have two of those in I mean we're not going to play this deck, this these characters without having, uh, oops, without having two of them in there. Okay, just sort of no brainers for having two. Now in this deck and in this build, the no brainers for having twos are uh, Vibra Knife. What I'm going to do is make a new stack of those twos that are just definites. Um, I think we have to have two immobilize because of turning this uh, because of this whole thing of turning into blanks uh, holocron has to go in I think uh, and I feel like full speed as well needs to go in uh, and the data pad because I think otherwise we're going to be struggling for resources potentially quite a lot um, and also it binds all things we need to have two of those in there because this is going to be demanding on our resources okay so the other now I feel like really need to go in there we need to have a bunch of removal so flank is going to go in because I think that's going to be great um, and I'm going to play deflect and oh, doubt so very good but I know there's so many decks that it's just not useful against. Isolation, oh, so good. Feel Your Anger is a bit broken too. So these are the ones that actually don't necessarily need twos of on these cards. So let me just take that back. Definitely having twos on that. Um, and I feel like just because of the meta with the big character cards, we are going to have two of Isolation. Okay, so let's have a look. And these could get cut, but I think they these are the cards that are going to be in this initial build. Close quarters assault. Wow, I think that's going to be massive. Uh, and then of course we want to do the whole try the anger and manipulate type situation. Uh, and of course then we need no mercy for our big finishers. Wow, really interesting. We've got a bunch of cards here that I thought were like these need to be twos of in this deck. I think power of the force. Hmm. I think with all the zeros that can really really make a big difference very very quickly so that's why I'm going to include the power of the force and have twos of now of course we're already at 26 cards when we're thinking of twos so there's further refining of those to go um, I think deflect is going to have to be in there and I feel like Makashi 
probably as well. Makashi is going to be very strong with all of this. Now, now we're really refining it. So we haven't got many defensive upgrades here. I'm excited about low of power, so I'm going to stick that in for now. Okay, so further refining. This is our refining process. Looking at these cards again, I'm coming down to similarish cards. It's these upgrades and knowing exactly what to put in. See, Force Choke, it's got discard, it's got resource on, it only costs two. Oh. Guys, I think. I really, I like Nye and the Master, and it really fits towards our theme, which is why we have to put it in. We're stupid to not put those two in. They're going towards our theme. Now, we might find our theme doesn't work quite as well as we want it to, and we have to do a bit of jiggery-pokery just to get better cards in. That's I'm happy with that, but we need to play um, a game or two to see like where that's happening. Now, these Royal Guards, I think lightsabers become really very strong. I want to see a pike in there. <laughs> We're left with most of the cards we put in. Brilliant. Okay, so let's get rid of this. See, look at this. Force illusion again. I'm like, mm -mm -mm. but I think it's it really should be in there. Okay, let's get rid of these for now. These are all going into our potentials pile for future. Okay. That we're looking back at so further refinements and this is where we also start seeing have we got just too many of one type of card in uh, in a certain area that we've gone really heavy with you know really heavy with offensive for instance uh, too heavy with offensive perhaps uh, or whatever card, or whatever type of card it is that we're looking at so let's get these down let's go there that's manipulate is essentially mitigation so is this Oh, that's going to go there, that's going to go there, that's going to go there. Oh, I'm feeling better about the removals. Oh, we didn't deal with interrogation droid, did we? Discard is very strong. We probably should keep it there. That's good, that's good. Oh, we got some really fascinatingly good cards in here. Okay, right. Interesting. Feels like I picked out a lot of events initially. We got rid of a lot of them. Okay, let's have a look, see if, if we've got any suggestions here. What have we got to know? Right then. So we're getting close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hang on, let's just, just do our doubles that we're definitely having the twos of. So we were doing that one as definite as a two of. We've got twos of this. We've got twos of this. Oh, that data pad. Yeah, we've got to because you just need the quick, easy resources. That's where the data pad uh, becomes so good. So, and I think twos of this because look at all of these upgrades we've got. Twos of this and uh, oh, could have one no mercy and maybe one of those. So let's be steady with that. Let's go with two on that. We need a two on that, and we need a two on that. Where does that? I mean, we need to want to mobilize. Where does that put us to? Uh, so we're looking at the amount of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we're at thirty-four cards. Actually, we've only got four cards to cut from here now. That's interesting. Lure is great. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited to use lure. Haven't actually played it. Um, in any of the decks that I've built, so I'm quite excited to see how Lure fits. I think it's going to look really cool on Royal Guard. I mean, I'm not unhappy about it on Asage, but I'd rather put that Lure of Power on a Royal Guard, I think. Although, bear in mind, we kind of want them to die. Um, so, yeah. Okay, let's have a look here. So, 
this is a fascinating set of cards we've got to use here. So we need to cut four from this at the moment. So perhaps this is where we start going a little more drilled in and specific about what we're, what we're building here. So I feel like we need to refine what's happening with the damage cards. What are the best damage cards? Well, that's clearly very good, our Vibro Knife. So we're going to be having two of those. And I think we're Kashi training again in this deck. I mean, it's so frustrating that we can't play it onto those Royal Guards, though. That really does make it a, quite a big drawback, even though it's such an excellent card. And because we can't, but we can play the pikes and the lightsabers on. Yeah, now that definitely could be something that we come back to because of that. I'm going to take make two lower power, you know. I'm going to make two lower power. Um, guard is good. Mobilize on. Yeah, mobilizing the guards a bit rubbish because of the ability uh, drawback situation. I'd have to holocron the guard then. Not that we can't, because of course we can holocron Assage, activate her, get something onto her, and then you know later do it. Try and get it out onto one of these guards before they need to guardian something. So that does that works and works quite well. Um, do you know what? I'm going to cut out mind probe. I can't play it on two of the three characters that we're playing. Whereas I can the pike and the lightsaber and the vibra knife, and I need ways. What I don't want to do is get late into the game and then be really struggling to play out the upgrades that I'm drawing. That's going to be really naff. For that reason, I think I'm going to cut the force illusion. I could be really wrong, but because it is going to be brilliant at keeping the sarge alive, but I think. This being an ability, more expensive, but loads more shields and that action, which is, you know, I mean, I could even use, I could even use this to fuel an anger, which is potentially very dodgy, because it means them leaving a damage side out, I think, really, but, phew. anyway. I'm happy with just ones of those, I doesn't feel like I've got a lot of damage output. This now I am the master, I'm not excited about that, you know. I'm not excited about it, but for our theme it fits so very well. Right, let's just count our cards that we're at here. Holocron is for the guards. Holocron is for the guards and for Sarge. Holocron is there because it's got focus, it's got the amazing special to get our um uh Actually, that's a very good point. Cards that we can play out with the Holocron is only Immobilize and Force Choke if we go with this sort of build. Which feels like a bit silly to miss out on Mind Probes. They're too strong. However, it does mean we get Cheap immobilized, cheap for force choke's got to be two, wasn't it? It's just got to be two. And the other thing is that it's a plus one resource and it's a focus, which I really, really like, and it's a zero, which powers up our power of the force. Maybe we need to make sure we've got two of these in. I'm okay with the one anger. I don't think we need more than one. Oh, the more I look at this card, the less I want to play it. When you just add that again, I could use Iron Eye the Master to fuel an anger. Hmm. I I think there's no point in me playing Holocron. Well there's much less point in playing Holocron without those probes. And it is so much more damage than the lightsaber pike. Where do we need to cut from here? Where do we need to cut from? I think that interrogation droid, as much as I like it. Is we'll, we'll stick it in there for now. Right, cards that we're at then three, so we're four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, uh, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got two cards to cut. Oh, interesting. What's our curve like at the moment? So we've got uh, so zero cost cards one, two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, seven, zero cost cards. Right, one cost cards. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one cost. So that's seven and eleven. It's only 18, that's quite an expensive deck. Yes, the Holocron helps, but then we're looking at cards that cost two or more is 12 cards. Oh, that's not, it's not a cheap deck as this currently stands. Uh, yeah. I think you're right, I think the events are good. This is, this is gonna be a, a one-off really great play if we get it I think it, it feels like it's these upgrades maybe what we need to consider is getting rid of what do you reckon guys now I own the master and have I feel like two my two mind probes is a lot, but that's why we've got Holocron in. Oh, this is agonizing at this stage. Really interesting. Four speeds, because this deck is reactionary. Oh, but those four speeds, oh my, focus, shields, zero, dice, I mean we're playing cards like um, manipulate, turn of your dice, decide, turn of blank, we're playing anger, dice, shown blank, you know, I feel, you know, that's another reason to include holocron and lure of power, or oh, maybe we should have two anger in. No, I really, I'm going to play with four speed. I'm conv am I? I feel like that's a really strong card to take out. This build is reactionary, that's true. But it, being able to power up that power of the force. Yeah. Right, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to really bold just to see how, just to see how this properly pans out. I think we need another mind probe, otherwise there's no point running the holocrons. Therefore, I'm going to take the pike out. Uh, and I think... We should probably have another lightsaber in. And that's six big damage outputs, potentially, okay? Now I like that. So we're at three, four, five, seven, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We've got three cards to cut from this. Now, the cards need to come off. I think we probably need to lose one event. 9, 10, 11, 12, well, maybe not. No, it's these upgrades we need to lose from. It's definitely, it's those. Yeah, it is a lot, isn't it? Maybe just the one lightsaber. Maybe just the one lightsaber. Two cards to cut. I'm always going to lean towards cutting more expensive stuff. We don't cut no mercy, do we? That's just too good. And, a, and, a, and we don't cut close quarters assault. That's just going to be devastating in so many ways. Maybe we cut this now I am the master. But it plays to what we're trying to do. Maybe it really does need to be those four speeds, you know. Maybe it does need to be. If we took holocrons, I can't see no, we've got to have holocrons in with force chokes and mobilizers and those mind probes. Wow, this is one of the most agonizing builds 
to finalise over ever. So, because of that, and because I'm just feeling like it's it's taking too long, I'm going to be really bold, and I am just going to cut out those four speeds. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh. So let's go back to our strategy. We want to make sure that we're dealing damage. We want to make sure that we're blanking dice, and we want to make sure that we're discarding their cards. Force speed does not help us with any of those things. It just doesn't. The only thing it's doing is just helping us to power the power of the force. And it's, that is a lot of expensive upgrades. As I'm looking at this, two, 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 one, two, three, four. That's too many expensive upgrades. Yes, I know we've got the binds or things, but that is too many expensive upgrades. But then force speed isn't helping with that because it doesn't allow us to ramp at all. That one is good. That's another reason why I like Nia and the Master. Do you know what? Let's take them out. We can stick them back in. I just want to play a game with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8. <laughs> yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, there it is. There's our initial 30. There's our initial 30. So, uh, I'm going to stick all of these. Actually, let me just save this game state here so I can come back and start changing it. Um, what we're doing here, this is um, going to be Assage, um, Royal Assage build. There we go. Um, where should we save that in? Um, yeah, that's fine. Oops. That will make no sense to me. There we go. Okay, so let's stick all that together. Now, the only thing we've got to do now is pick ourselves uh, a battlefield. I feel like this is a fairly straightforward one. We're going to be slow. We need to stay alive. We're not going to get to see it very much. We've got some zero cost upgrades. No, we've got less now because we've taken the four speeds out. I was going to lean towards doing Moss Eisley. Um, and then the other possibility uh, being um, Otagunga. I don't really like Otagunga because our opponent's going to take it more than us, and we are going to win by damage. So I feel like it probably will be Moss Eisley for now. And that's fine. So let's do this. In goes our deck. Well guard, well guard. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a quick break for a bit, uh, go make a cup of tea, um, and then I'll come back and we'll try and get a game in. So uh, I'm gonna just go on to a break for a bit uh, and I'll and I'll be right back once I've built the deck and got ourselves into a game. Alright, see you shortly.
Right, okay, we're back. So, um, let's, uh, let's just see if there's anyone who's straight away looking for a game. Now, bear in mind, these are pickup games. So, the, I'm already going to apologise in case they're not necessarily quite uh, the best quality. But also remember, I'm playing with a number of new cards here. That um, uh, Okay, it's casual. Let's let's do this just so we I can get us into a game fairly quick. It's the first time we're playing with this deck, so we'll see how it goes. Slight drawback: he's in Australia. My ping isn't going to be great. We'll see if it's watchable. We have three characters. Uh, that doesn't seem to be too bad. Let's see where are we? Version one. Just check you guys are all able to see what's going on here. Yes, good. Right. Well, let's see how this goes. It's quite laggy. But I think we should be okay for a game. It's not too bad. Now, just warning, my toddler has just come home. It could be a lot of shouting for daddy and little in, and interruptions by a little person. So we'll, but we'll try and avoid that. I know his mum's running, running block on him. So let's see, let's see how this goes. I'm really quite excited to see how this plays. What we're up against, that does look like Vader Raider. Uh, okay. Just checking with him. It's okay for me to uh, stream our game. Okay, so this could be painful. Casual destiny, but it's Vader Raider. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Okay. Uh, there we go. Like I said, we might have the odd uh, little uh, interruption here and there. Right, so. Let's have a look. Are you trying to put the guitar back on there? You yeah. slide it back in, bud. Uh, it's a back in. I mean, close quarters of salt at this stage isn't going to be quite so exciting. Let what we do. need is control and Let removal. Let me back in. One sec. Shall? Yeah. Let's, could you go find Mummy Cobes? Because Daddy's in the middle of streaming here, look. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right, we definitely don't need Vibro and I right at the start. Well, I don't think we do anyway. He's not going to be playing many shields. My probe can go. Close quarters assault early could be really good. Can you get the idea that my boy can't do it? I can't do it. Uh, right, give me one second, guys. I can't do it. I'll sort the boy. I can't do it. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be right with you, my man. Hold on. Be right back, guys. I And we're back. Apologies about that. All right, here we go. So let's see what we get. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not the greatest opening hand, is it really? We can't play. 
we're going to struggle with that. What's he got? He's got four, same as me. Okay, here we go then. Let's see what we get this time. Three. Okay, he's got it. So he's playing um, Secluded Beach, which we don't care about. So he's probably going to pick mine. Yep, okay. And he's going to take some shields. It's a bit painful, but we do have the Vibra knife. So I think we're going to have to make use of that. Whether it's the first thing we do or not, I'm not sure, but yeah, I think it probably is actually. We'll do this, and we'll get out that Vibro knife. Uh, and then Sarge is the only one with resources on, so I am going to roll her next. And hopefully we can get resource so we can still play that isolation. Two damage, that's fine. Now that lure of power is going to be very nice to get out onto one of these royal guards. I think next guard I could, unless he gets to chuck this damage straight at me, which he does. Ouch. That's a bit painful. Hits the three. Ugh. Yeah. That's annoying. That is very annoying. See, I could make this be worth three if I roll out now. Do you know what? I think we will. He hasn't got any action cheating. Nice, well there's only four damage to Vader and blockable. Okay, we've got a fast hands. Um, that's annoying. So let's play close quarters of salt and get rid of all of those. So I'm hoping this is going to limit the damage somewhat. Oh, that's a big card, isn't it? What well, that was, that felt good. Let's see what we get. Does he get a big three off? If he does, we're in trouble. Oh my goodness. So he's already got a Sarge down to five. Ouch! Right, we'll royal guard that. Jeepers. Now, come on, let's get a good roll. Oh, we are going to put quite a bit of damage out onto him, which is really cool. Okay, so he takes that back, gets a one. We will hit him for, what's that? A six, isn't it? Yeah, six to Vader. Like it, like it, like it. Yeah, that was pretty cool actually. But have we already, I mean just that damage Vader Raider in the first right now. Can't play out both of these. I do like a Vibra knife. Another Vibra knife here is gonna be strong. So I, oh it's gonna hurt me to get rid of Lure of Power though. Really hurt me to get rid of Lure of Power. I wanted to see a lure of power, mind you. Vibra knife and a royal guard is still gonna be better. You know what? I might just take I might just take the two here rather than discard that lure of power. That could be the wrong choice. Right, we've got Hulk on and Anger. Okay. That is decent. Okay, so he's got his fast hands. Hmm. I've got nothing to play off that holocron. Fine. Uh, see another vibro knife does start becoming a lot of damage doesn't it but he could just swing and kill Asajj and I haven't really got a lot of ways to deal with it I think the best bet is to get her out I mean, he could really swing and cause me all sorts of issues here. But I want to see what plays out before I play out these upgrades. Oh, it's three damage. Do you know what? I am just going to take that. He's got to roll the Vader. Ah! OK, 
Okay, but I do get another resource, which is quite quite good. Um, damn it, he's got so much speed to kill these characters off now. I think let's Harkon's not gonna do something immediately. Another Vibra knife is gonna be strong, isn't it? I think we need to play out another Vibra knife. And then with the ambush I'll play that Sith Holocron. Yeah, make this a target, that's fine. He's going right after Asajj and that's fair enough, so let's do it this way around. See what he does. Yeah, so he chooses to go with Tuscan Raider. That looked very weird. That did look a bit sus, didn't it? <laughs> he did say re-roll. I just said here it was a bit funny. There we go. What do we get? He gets the one. Does he want to dish it out or is he going to leave it there is the question. Okay, um, I think what we'll do then is we will activate this one and draw it down. And we'll get ourselves rolled out. Got another one. That's two further damage onto him. He's going for the full speed. Okay, this is where. I really do start to get worried. I think it's probably best to just do two. Because I've still got a vibe knife dice to come out. So, yeah. What's it roll? Oh, my goodness. He hits that three, but that isn't a dead Asajj. Sadly, anger is no good. I'm gonna have to isolate it, aren't I? Because I don't want to guardian it. Well, that was a great roll for him, but thankfully I had the tools. Yeah, Vibra Knife works very well in this. Um, with so much, so much melee coming out. He is going to take a shield onto there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll roll out this Royal Guard. Again, apologies for the lag, guys. He is in Australia. I don't think he's... Oh, actually, do you know what happened in the discard when he activated his Vader? Ugh. That's a bad roll, though. That's a bad roll. Okay, he's going to claim. Take that back. Now, do I just take two? I think I'll discard the Anger and go for a re-roll. Because just any bit of extra damage now could make all the difference through to that Vader. Come on. I'm going to have to get rid of that lure of power now, which is painful. But I'm going to risk it with keeping that plus two. Am I? No, I need the black side. I need the black side. Even just one or two damage here will be fine and really good. Uh, oh, and he hits it. It's nice. So, yeah, that's going to be three through. 
another three. Vader's nearly down. Uh, in fact, I c uh, no, I can't. That's the best I can do out of that. That went all right. Now what we've got to play with? Ah, no removal events. Imaginary matter with fast hands Vader. Oh, he picked he picked it off. I don't know why he's picking it off. By the way, you know you need to keep that on so that you know when you're claiming you've got that speed. He's gonna have to play it out now, which is gonna cost him. Okay, I need to discard a card. We'll discard. Let's see what he rolls first. Oh, he's not rolled well. Um. I actually just got the data pad. Right, so he's not rolled well, so I should probably go for an Assage roll and see if I can get anything out of her. <laughs> Anger. No, because I discarded it. Right, it's got a good chance of killing her that's oh, that is annoying got a good chance of killing her here yeah okay see I could stick lure of power out on this royal guard now but I want to get something out of the sergeant's dice so therefore I kind of want to do a reroll but over two dice, that's really naff. Um, it binds all things, it's no good. Mind probe is gonna be great if I can hit the holocron, although he's already used the one card to mobilize. And lure of power, do I put lure of power and roll? I've got too many dice to not make the most of a reroll. I think I put lure of power out. But do I put lure of power out on this royal guard? I mean, he can kill us, Arge. There's no point doing a reroll because I can't use a dice anyway. Oh, this could be really wrong. Because I should have a resource available for a mind probe to go off. What do you know what I'll do? I'll pay one. I could hit binds all things. No, 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 think. Come on. Do you know what I'm just going to do? It. Let's just get this little prayer out. I need the damage through. That's what I need to be doing. Damage, damage, damage. If we lose the Viber Knife now, it'll be painful, but yeah, he's got it. At least we've still got the other one, which hopefully he can't remove. It will be sad times if we lose that. Uh, okay, let's do this, and let's just hope he's got three. Oh, he's got th actually, yeah, I need to do this um, because I'll need to use the other one to absorb any damage that he rolls. Hope he doesn't have any removal for this. It's three more damage, that is a dead Vader, isn't it? Has he got removal? Doesn't look like he has. Well, dodged a bit of a bullet there. Not only that, I can also play out Mind Probe this round, which is super exciting. I'd be taking those two shields onto that Tuscan Raider. I know we've got Vibra Knife, which is really painful for him, but there's nothing else valuable he can do. He's going to take his force. Okay. Interesting. I think I'll just... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just kill it off. Interesting. Well, this deck seems to have successfully survived against a Vader Raider. So far. This is looking good. I mean, it's not... A definite for now but um, it's not looking bad is it so actually what we'll do is roll this out 
we've got a resource on we have that could allow us to still mine probe out potentially because you've got four cards in hand okay doesn't hit it um, do I want to re-roll for that I don't really do I let's just get this out oh I could have reset holocron that was a bit stupid never mind uh, and then we'll do two damage to him yeah that was a little annoying that I missed out on getting an extra holocron activation but never mind uh, and then we will do this all right now I don't really want it binds all things now but I will keep immobilize going four let's get some events oh there we go it's looking it's looking strong guys we're in a decent position we've got some removal we've got some good upgrades he needs to get an upgrade out oh dear I don't think he's drawn any upgrades nasty Okay, he has hit that, which I can't deal with. No, I can't. Oh, he's just doing it. What's he getting out? A false illusion. That makes sense. Right. Uh, he should have five in hand, shouldn't he? Played out for solution, we took the holocron back. Oh yeah, of course. Um, gonna go for it, haven't we? Might hit it, and that's good because it's gonna be a lot of damage, even if he does just force illusion it away. Oh, I hit the discard, which is also still quite good. Oh, and it's in ones, I like the ones. What's he gonna do? Make me okay, sure. Let's roll that. Hey. Okay. Um, shame I couldn't keep it on there really, but and I've got just the one melee si melee side showing. Should potentially play the upgrade first. I don't know. I think he's not going to have to fast hands it or anything like that. So quite like the isolation of, to keep that available. Do you know what I feel like? Let's just discard him two. No, I don't want to discard him two cards because I can reuse that. So let's, yeah, let's roll this. I can deal with his damage with the isolation. Let's see if we can just get something juicy out. Okay. Well, it's really interesting. There's some new die sides to look at here, that lure of power. Okay, he's played out another holocron so that the mine probe doesn't hit him for big. I feel like maybe just a re-roll here or hang on how much we've got. We've only got the one melee side showing. If he re-rolls now it's gonna cost him those two cards. Um let's do this. Uh, we'll go for we'll go for false choke. Just because it could be some damage. Oh, it's a resource. Great. Okay, so he rolls that. So we will, I think, manipulate here. 
Or do I just isolate it? Yeah, I'll manipulate it, it's fine. Uh, oh, oh, oh Sarge is dead. <laughs> I forgot that was not going to work. That's annoying. Uh, let's turn. Do you know what? Let's turn this to a blank. Yes, it could get the anger on the go, but he's just going to discard a reroll. Or paint switch. Oh, and he hits it again, so I'm going to have to spend my isolate to get rid of it, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Alright then, so he's going to hit that. Sure, and we'll have a discard discard on the holocron. Because we're gonna try and get a three uh, and we'll up this two if we can. Oops, ah oh, dow didn't mean to roll that one. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know. That lag dragged it in. It's very annoying, guys. Oh well. Um, wow. We need to go for just a bigger reroll here. And the immobilize can go. We'll keep this one and this one, and we'll reroll those three again. Oh, that's very annoying. Gotta hate lag. Here we go. Yeah, great. Okay, so. He's going to be able to force illusion it away, which is a little annoying, but never mind. Um, so, let's do one for two. Um, we will. Do you know what? I don't know if I fancy. Oh, we've got to get rid of it, haven't we? So, let's take the one. We'll do that and then we'll take a shield onto this chap. Uh, yeah. And then we'll get our three, uh, two more resources, and we'll take our five. Or four more. We're going to keep close water solved. Oh, look at this. Oh, we've got power of the force. There's a no mercy. It's all going to happen. So it's a bit of a matter of time now. Could he kill that one off? He potentially could. Could roll quite well here. Let's see what he manages. I think it feels like this has gone well and this is nice. I mean, it put out a lot of damage early on our deck. Whether it's going to consistently do that or not, I guess time time will tell. Uh, what do I need to do here? Um, I think... I just need to get a roll out, don't I really? Yeah. No, well, I'm missing a die from somewhere. There we go. So we'll go for the big hit. Oh, wow, okay. So that's potentially quite a, a bit to get done. Uh, and I think we'll guardian that away. Which of course I should have done first, but there we go. The no mercy, yeah, okay. Uh, like a close quarters. Oh, I just need to get a side that shows some damage here. Potentially a foregone conclusion, but we'll get this out anyway. Back to you, my good man. So we'll have a big reroll next. I think if he he's going to discard to reroll the two, that'll take him down to just a one. And that's no, it's not because Asaj is dead. So he's going to discard the one to reroll, and then I can just close quarters assault those last two, and just basically set him up for. 
I mean, I'm. It's going to be pretty disappointing if I can't get a kill this this round. <laughs> he's doubting this, maybe. No, he's doubting that. Okay. That's fair enough. Let's do it. Oh, he's hit the blank again on the uh, on the doubt. Nice. However, I've got. Got so much. I probably just need to just hit these. Get that out, done and out of the way. So he hasn't got any rerolls now. So that's basically the end of his turn. And then I just need to reroll, and I just need to be able to get the no mercy off or something. So let's have a discard to reroll. Let me use a mobilize. Now. Do I just re-roll both of those? Um, I think I definitely roll all three of those. I think I probably just do. So I can't resolve any of those. I need the black sides, and there's plenty more black sides. Oh, right, there's one black side. So that's. But I'm going to have to. I have to go for another re-roll again, because there's no mercy is now only going to be for four damage. And that's not going to be enough. So the deflect. Actually, I can power the force, which makes it become a four. Do you know what? I'm just going to check the deflect and go for another reroll. If I can just get a focus or anything, anything of something is going to be better than what we've currently got to make sure I don't reroll that again. Here we go. Come on, something decent. Let's finish it off. Okay, yeah, we got it. So. Because we can, so that's three damage to six. We're going to focus that over to the two, and then we resolve that for the damage, which is five. GG. Right. Um, I'm just going to. Cheers for the game. I'm going to have a quick debrief on it. Okay. So, a couple of things in that then. Uh, first of all, apologies that it was quite slow. Uh, a couple of decisions, I was a bit stuck on exactly what to choose. But, of course, it's playing with lag. I need to just not do it. So, apologies for the, um, the viewer experience there. Um, uh, in turn, Let me just kick myself out of this game for him. Uh, Okay, so how do we think our deck did? Um, well, obviously it did okay in that game. Um, let's just go to here. Um, so I felt like, I mean, there was a lot of damage that first round. Now, if someone did that very often, of course, it rolled a two on Asaja's dice, it rolled a one on the um, Vibra knife, and then it did roll the two plus twos, didn't it? Uh, what well, might have been the one and the one and the two plus two. So, but I also feel like that's not going to happen, you know, really infrequently. Um, so what I was quietly pleased about in that deck was I didn't think it was going to be able to stick out a lot of damage, but we killed Vader, I think, before he killed the Sarge, or maybe about the same time. I mean, we absolutely out damaged it. Um, he did have the one bad roll in the last round, but he also rolled a double three, uh, you know, in 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 the uh, in one of the rounds too. So I felt like there was actually a surprising amount of damage came came out of the deck there, which is really exciting, really cool. Um, lure of power. I wanted to get it out early, but I felt like I, I don't know, it didn't feel like the very best card to have played out, but actually it. I mean, it was helpful. Now, those two blanks are painful, though. Um, but, of course, we've got the angers and we've got uh, um, and the manipulate to help us get the most out of anger. I think perhaps it feels like maybe it needs two anger in with Holocron as well. Um, I don't know. That's probably going to be something to play around with a little bit more. Um, anyway, what did you guys think? I mean, you guys are sat there watching it. And, you know, the damage dice are very consistent. Yeah, I think that's a really... A good point. I think about it. we've got two black sides and a sage. We've got two black sides and a nice plus two blue. 
on the other two characters. That's really good. Vibra knife. We've got uh, there's two black sides and a and a and a blue. There's a lot of really quite consistent damage there. And when we factor in that, I mean, we got quite a few upgrades out there too. We saw the holocron. Uh, we got out uh, the force choke off it um, and the lure of power. Well, that's three blue upgrades. Um, you know, so that uh, power of the force is suddenly looking a lot better. Um, I'd really like to see lightsabers. I think lightsabers going down on the characters would have been really good. Uh, it feels like there's a lot of good synergy in there. The one thing that was a bit of a disappointment was it didn't feel like I had quite the right opportunity to. I didn't feel like I needed to know Mercy. That doesn't mean I'm going to take it out. But in that instance, I guess when I saw it, I was quite up. Um, but a no mercy, an unblockable no mercy is such a great combo of cards with the Vibra knife uh, at the moment. I, I, that's staying in. Two anger is a good idea. Yeah, Hand of the King, I think I probably agree. I think that's definitely a card that it's really hard because it does feel so situational. And I'm just playing devil's advocate. And also, of course, with Poe and Vader and Palpatine, with them generally uh, resolving their dice very quickly, it's it's harder. It, it, it's harder. Um, I don't know that anger is so good then in those instances. Uh, I think anger is one of those ones that's really good in certain matchups and is going to be pretty rubbish if you're playing against fast, quick, um, fast, quick decks. Mind you, that action cheating, that's just ubiquitous, I suppose. You know, in the top tiers, it's, it's kind of everywhere. So, which doesn't make me hanker after having four speed in there. Would four speed have been uh, made that game any easier? Um, probably not. I think if it's in an early power of the force, you know, being able to get potentially a lot of unblockable damage through with a re-roll to smooth it out, maybe... But yeah, I think ultimately that was that was a really cool, really interesting um, first run out for it. It went up against a good list. I don't know if claiming the Moss Eisley's and bouncing those fast hands back to hand was the right idea. I think he did that two turns. Um, I think I'd probably taken the two shields off the Vader before it died, rather than taking the force speed back, because um, force speed didn't make a lot of difference in the end for him on a Tuscan Raider. So... Um, you know, I think our list would potentially, be, if we hadn't rolled six damage in that first round, that was going to change the whole game a lot because it's. Uh, but they are consistent damage sides. I guess as a play more, we'll find out more whether it tends to be able to do that kind of damage output. But anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably a mistake as, as well, Neil. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. That's just a little. Th I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed playing that list. I have to say. Um, and I will be playing some more of it, so I'll try and um, I'll, I'll try and stream those. And what I'll do is I'll let you guys see how I sort of on the fly start making tweaks and changes to to the decks uh, or to this deck in particular. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, so yeah, until next time, keep enjoying Destiny. <laughs>